Hi guys, welcome to Digital Tech Join. I hope everybody is doing good. And today in this tutorial, we are going to use uh, one of the AI cognitive service of uh, Microsoft Azure and demonstrate how we can scan standard invoice and extract the information so that we can automate the process which is uh, done in most of the organization. So before we get into the practical session, I want to tell everybody that we had created a play playlist. Uh, we have two playlists on Azure that is Azure Tutorials which covers the entire uh, basic to advanced topic and also we have a playlist on specifically to manage uh, the projects using Azure DevOps which is right over here. So in our standard playlist we have many videos created and how to create a free trial account. Obviously in order to run through this uh, demo that I am going to show to you you need to an Azure free account and uh, this video contains all the basic to advanced videos it contains videos related to how to deploy your ASP.NET application on cloud uh, using MS SQL Server database and also how to use um, create and set up uh, FTP for file sharing and use S, uh, basically Azure blog to store and share your files uh, with, with videos that also talk about how to create your SQL Server database and many more such videos on uh, various topics are there in this playlist. I recommend that be, like uh, for the beginners to go through each and every video so that they have a better understanding on how Azure Cloud Computing works. So coming back to our topic, we are going to use our cognitive service, especially we are going to use Azure Form Recognizer that will actually uh, give you uh, the option to uh, you know, uh, scan your invoices. So uh, let's do that. Uh, let's uh, go to our Azure portal. So this is our Azure portal where we are going to set up our AI service and we are going to use Azure Cognitive Service and we will also show, um, upload one dummy or uh, demo uh, based invoice that will scan and extract the information. Now uh, before uh, we get into this, uh, like everybody knows how AI is picking up the market and uh, everywhere the AI utilization is at most important and it has become a paramount that you understand how uh, artificial intelligence works and how if you don't learn AI then you'll be you know uh, really back in the race and uh, miss a lot of opportunities. So most of the videos that I'll be producing now will be a little bit of you know inclined towards uh, how to use AI for productivity and how to use AI for your development. So. Uh, in this video, uh, as I mentioned, I'll show you how to use Azure Company Service to scan, extract invoice data automatically. Uh, whether you are a finance, operation or IT, this tool can save you, reduce error and uh, kick manual entries out of the process forever. So we are going to use AI with Azure Form Recognizer. So let's get started. In order to do that, uh, there is a service called document intelligency so you can just uh, type in your uh, global address search document so you can see intelligence is over here you click on that and this is where you are going to create uh, the studio that is basically the option to upload the invoice so uh, create document intelligence is the button but before that we need to create a resource so this is basically this is under ai foundry so a uh, lot of AI related like image classification, scanning, uh, we will show that um, in our future uh, tutorials, how do you use AI to extract the key information, how do you uh, use uh, AI to identify the key component stacks in the image and how do we classify images and, and identify objects uh, using uh, various uh, uh, trainings that are available in the image uh, vision uh, document uh, section. So here we have AI Foundry uh, and in AI Foundry there are a lot of service but we are going to use document intelligence service. So we come over here, we say create and uh, we this is my subscription, this is my resource that I have created. It is a good practice to create a resource group. All this about resource group, everything is mentioned in my tutorial, in my in my videos that is there in the uh, playlist. I am select, uh, selecting uh, my region, Center India, and I am going to name it as uh, Digital Tech Joint uh, Invoice uh, Scan. And this will be a free, so there is a free trial of 500 pages. You can use this as of now. Uh, click on next this is allowing all networks this is for giving access to a particular user and this is tagging and then we it's getting validated so the validation should pass once the validation is passed i can uh, create the template now as it seems there's no issue i click on create 
and uh, it is deploying the resource so create a document intelligence a Kubernetes service that is form break organizer is created now while this resource is getting created let me also tell you what exactly is a form break organizer so uh, azure form recognizer is um, basically uses machine learning models trained on thousands of real world invoices to intelligently extract data like invoice number date total amount and even item items uh, that is there in the invoice uh, it does not uh, it doesn't follow any r code rule instead it understands the layout read the text and figures out what matters just like a human could so this is real ai in action and this is not a typical ocr so uh, when you talk about ocr you uh, pro uh, program it as it but this uh, engine can take up any format of invoice and extract the key information that you require so one more important thing before I proceed is that uh, while I am using the Azure portal uh, interface uh, to do this uh, where you can manually upload the invoice, I will be creating ASP.NET MVC application that I will be creating a front end uh, and I will upload the uh, invoices which can which will scan which will actually uh, run the service of form uh, or recognizer in the back end and extract the key information and display it in the database. So I'm sure there are a lot of use cases that you must have come across and you can use that. So please stay tuned and please do share my channel link with your friends, family uh, and colleagues to grow my channel and do like and comment. Uh, so going coming back to our uh, tutorial, here is a service created. Let me click on go to resources. Now this is the cognitive service that I've created. Now I am going to uh, create I am going to open the document intelligence service. So here you can see, uh, let me just go to home page and click on AI Foundry. Oh, one minute, just hold on. Document intelligence. Yeah, so here once I click on, um, so I'll just show it again document intelligence then here i created a digital text invoice scan this is a service form recognizer now inside the form recognizer you can see all the properties so this is a key uh, that's required for uh, when you want to programmatically call this service and uh, scan the invoices to extract the information here i'm going to use document intelligence studio where i will click and yeah, so here I get the option get started with document in intelligence C studio and here there is something called invoice and I'm going to select on invoice. So it is authentic it once. So fine. So now I, I can see this welcome to document in studio. Uh, so this is resource and API endpoint since I have already created the resource you can see if you go over here there is already this resource that I had created so I am going to just copy the key so this is the endpoint and the key so I might require both I will just uh, come back here and click on invoice and here you can see endpoints so it needs the endpoint and the API key so what I am going to do is that uh, copy the key over here and paste enter the key over here and this is the api endpoint click back over here and select copy the endpoint paste the endpoint over here and click on i understand and click on continue so this is how so now you can see the interface is ready now over here you can see an invoice uh, already displayed and run analysis will actually you know um, scan this but here i'm going to use my own so in my desktop i had created an invoice sample invoice and I kept it I'll just show it to you. I'll just minimize this. So this is a sample invoice that I created. Invoice, this is from Tiletris. Uh, invoice number date, some of the items, then subtotal, total. So this is what I had created. So I'm going to use this invoice over here. So if you look at the interface here, they're given some sample invoices. You can still use it, but I'm going to use mine. So I'm going to click on browse file here. And on my desktop, I'll select the files. So you can see the invoice is displayed. Now I'm going to click on run analysis. So it's running the analysis and AI is in action. And here you can see on the right hand side fields, pre-built invoice. And here you can see the accuracy 93%. So this is the amount uh, that is displayed. This is the customer address. This shows the 
uh, confidence score um, then this uh, address of the recipient okay due date it is invoice date invoice total and here you can see it is also fetch the items if you go scroll it yes we can display the item name quantity amount and finally subtotal it also has extracted tax information total tax amount and the vendor address everything is displayed and you can see the result in your in your code also here yeah, this is a code uh, and this is the result in json format you can see this is the content that basically is read and this is the field that i have gone through so here you can see it is uh, it is very easily within few seconds it was able to read the entire information now let us also take some of the sample so this is a more uh, uh, you know a detailed invoice uh, with more information let us run scan over here now you can see this is taking uh, scanning uh, the invoice and here you can see it is also successfully read and it also marks it over in a rectangular box and you can see everything is read and in fact it also has read uh, uh, taken up the items flow everything is displayed over here so this is how the document intelligence service work and this is how co so quickly you are able to use um, a document intelligence studio and using the form recognizer uh, you are able to easily read any invoices and extract the data and save it so this was a short demo on, on how to use cognitive AI services of Azure, um, Microsoft Azure Studio. And um, uh, with this, we end this tutorial. But as I mentioned, I'm going to use ASP.NET application and use the same demo. And I'll be uploading the invoices from the front end and extracting the information so that you can use that use case in your real world uh, application or project. So with this guys, uh, thank you so much for your time. As I requested, please do subscribe my channel. Please do share my channel with your family, friends and colleagues and help me to grow this digital tech channel. And uh, thank you so much for your time. Uh, really appreciate it. Thank you.